the show. It's time for the uh, Sunday Night Video Review brought to us by Steel Blue Boots and uh, with Kayla Pike. Kayla, once again, congratulations uh, on the Origin victory and your performance. So go and um, vision through the week. We saw a lot of you and Billy Slater together at training. Yep. What did you learn from Billy? Or what did, he, what did he talk to you about? Uh, he gave me a few tips, um, both in defence and attack. He just said to get involved as much as I can, pop up both sides of the footy, uh, of the field. Um, and then in defence, just mix up what I do uh, defensively uh, and be very direct and loud and confident. And whenever he spoke to me, he, he always had confidence in me and just said, um, at the end of the day, just play your game. It's one of the things of it, Slater, isn't it? Like, such an outstanding athlete, all his natural gifts, he also has an appreciation for the subtleties of the sport. Mm. And there's no doubt he could be a great coach if you wanted to be. Kalen, yeah. that first half, um, I think that's the fastest half of football I've ever seen. Um, how did it feel out there when you're playing? Uh, the first 10 minutes, well, I remember looking up at the clock and it was, I thought I'd been playing for 20 minutes and it had only been five. And I was like, I don't, like, I don't know how this can, we can keep going. Like, this is the fastest footy I've ever played. And the first 10 minutes, um, yeah, it was crazy. The crowd, the pace, just everything. Um, you sort of had to re-narrow your focus and um, remember what the, like, certain indicators and whatnot. And once you sort of got into the game, you found that the, the pace slowed down. After, yep. after 20 minutes, um, well, definitely that first half. The second half was a bit yeah. more slow-paced. Um, but, yeah, we, we worked pretty hard in that first half. Well, I never talked to you about that second half because, as you said before, that first half was so fast that the Great. middle defenders were out in their feet. That middle, yeah. middle third of the field was like a thoroughfare. The quick blokes just pierced it through. Second half completely different, and, and you blokes changed that with your uh, defensive intensity. W what was said at the break? Was it a conscious decision? Um, just confidence. Just be positive, be patient. We didn't go into the, the break down or anything, um, even though we're down on the scoreboard. Uh, we felt like we were ahead. We, um, we bombed a few tries, missed a couple of opportunities, and, and we knew that. Um, but by no means were we down at all. And our forward pack in that second half, the way they put it to them, um, yeah, it was huge. Cal, in your second half attack, especially your passing game, did Kebby say something to you about getting more involved? Uh, not really. I, I was a little bit disappointed with how uh, uninvolved I was in the first half. I should, have, I should have popped up in a few more um, breaks and whatnot. Um, and I wanted to get more involved in the second half, I think, because I was, I was out of my feet in that first half. Um, I was finding it, uh, the, the pace so fast. And in the second half, because we were controlling the ball a bit more, um, it allowed me to get into the game. Some of these passes, mate, like, did you find your ball playing, was it any different at this level because of the speed of the game? Or Not some really. Of the, these were fantastic the yeah. devices. Um, throughout the week, um, just... I remember Daly just saying, get the ball in positions you want to. Yeah. Um, in that first half, like, I, di I didn't really. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to in the second half. And again, it helps that we had our, our big boys were doing so well in the middle. Um, and I just wanted to get the ball in, in spots that I, I, I'm used to or, or yeah. that I like. Um, and then when I had the ball, just, just making sure that that effort when I had it was, was a good one. Even if I was tired, I only, if I only had the ball for two seconds, as long as that two seconds is a good effort, um, then, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I focused on. What about the other side of the coin, the defence? The physicality of it? it yeah. was, there were some big hits out there. Yeah. Uh, you probably... So much adrenaline, so much emotion, you probably don't feel those hits as much. Um, after the game, you definitely do, and then the next, next couple of days Josh, after. Josh had a car, got your beauty. He got me a beauty, yeah. yeah, yeah um, but in the game, I didn't even really feel it. You... Um, you're just, so, you're just so amped, so hyped, and um, it's not until after that you, yeah, you feel those ones. You're uh, late in the game. You know, <clears throat> you know, New South Wales really came at you, blokes, and Latrell Mitchell was streaking down the left-hand side. You hit him with a good shot. What were you thinking as he's coming, coming at you? Um, oh, I was thinking, oh, here we go. I, I remember this footage of Greg Inglis running over a fullback. Mm. Um, back, back in the day. and There's quite a bit of that for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember just, just don't do that. Don't get run over here. Just throw everything at him. Um, I still got sort of run over, but I slowed him down enough. Were you aware to put your... You didn't try, didn't and, wanna, you didn't yeah, try and go through behind the back of him. So if you, admit, you put your body in front of him. I didn't him, want, so wanna, I didn't want him to allow him to run more to put him on my right yeah. shoulder. Because if I didn't hit him hard enough, which I didn't think I was yeah. going to, so you're that aware just allows that. him to go, yeah, I wanted to get in front of him just to basically sold. Because, yeah, Caitlin, you stayed on, didn't you? You didn't come off after that. Because, uh, <laughs> Matthew, very similar. Uh, you, you've got something in common with Cullen. Have a look at this. What's that? This is uh, one of your technique, uh, your tackle technique. Have a look at this. Yeah. This is you out there. Yeah. I, I didn't say Have a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
you and Kaylin actually do have something in common. Except we did. I was, I was, I made sure Tyron Smith didn't go over the top of it. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> but you're a very brave man, considering we probably wouldn't have a job without this man, me and you. But um, oh, thanks, Finchy. But we, we've got to. But at least, at least they attempt. It's, it's a clean, hard t trying to make a tackle. Let's have a look at you here. Like, what's this? Like, it's just cheap. Watch the elbow over the top here. Colin Best, get that into your bag. <laughs> he's, he's, he speaks like Darren. Like, now, this is the best one. Watch this little swing arm here. Bang! Oh. Yeah, that, like, All right. what, look at this. Okay. Look how I teach the kids name. What sort All of right, behaviour is that? Okay, Finchy. At least I'm my own man. I didn't model myself on anyone. What are you talking about? Corey Worthington. Who's that? Remember this gentleman here, Corey Worthington? <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> now, this is... I've never have been... a look at this. Do you know who Corey Worthington had that party in South Australia? I've never been like him in my life. Oh, haven't we? Have a look at this. This is you the next day doing an interview. <laughs> now... <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're telling me... <laughs> You're telling me you didn't model yourself on Corey Worthington. Well, he was quite popular there for a little bit, Corey. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> where were we? Uh, back to the... Uh, oh, you're an idiot. Uh, game two's in Perth. Uh, dry track over there expected. Oh, yeah. Are you expecting the same type of game with, with the speed and intensity? Will game plan stay the same, you think? Uh, I think the game, the game plan will stay the same. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm expecting it to be fast. It's origin. Like, yep. there's, you've got to expect that. I, I, I was shocked by how fast mm. it was and how intense it was, but... I guess now that I've, I've been through it, um, I know what to expect. But, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a huge game. It'll be fast and intense as the last one. Obviously, the last sort of series and a bit, the, the Queensland team's gone through mass changes with some greats retiring. Uh, Daly Cherry Evans had his first game as captain. I thought he was terrific. How was he in camp and how was your experience playing under Daly? Yeah, he's awesome. Um, I haven't had much to do with him in the past so, um, at all. I've only really heard him in the media. Um, and he talks, he talks really well and he, he did that uh, with us. Um, just so much confidence where he talks and, and that rubs off on the team, I reckon. Um, and, yeah, he had a great game. Um, Carl, let's talk about Newcastle Knights for a second. And uh, at the start of this season, before the season kicked off, a lot of expectation around the team, a lot of expectation around you, second full year in first grade. And uh, it was a difficult start for yourself and a difficult start for Newcastle. Looking back on it now, how did you feel? What did you learn from it? Um, we had a lot of new faces. A lot of Obviously, we did have that expectation because of the quality players that we got into the team. But we were still finding like, a lot of things out. I was, at, I was in the halves, learning how to play with PSC. We had some new boys um, in the team finding their feet as well. Um, and yeah, we went through a bit of a slump there, but once we got that first one, it was yeah. a sort of a template. This, this is how we win footy. This is, this is what we have to do. And um, the boys have just been building on that. That looked like rock bottom that day against the oh, Titans. That yeah, was, a, that was, was embarrassing. That was a really bad loss. Yeah. Um, Something changed. It seemed to spark the side. You've gone six from six after that. And this game against Parramatta, remember they cut to, to you blokes in the tunnels you're about to run on, and you all had a bit of... There was just something in the eye. There was an extra bit of desperation, a bit of will about you. Yeah, we were played just, that yeah. way. What, what happened through the week? Uh, I don't really know what happened through the week. I think our leaders stepped up. Um, main one being him, that Mitchell Pearce. He stepped up. Um, he's led from the front. We just didn't want to be... Um, we didn't want to lose at home. I think that was probably the main one. Didn't want to let our fans down. They didn't deserve that. Like a, a loss mm -hmm. and, um, against Parramatta. And then from that game, we just, yeah, we just kept building yeah. and, and trying to get better. You're talking about building and getting better. You get that one and get the ball rolling. And then you come up with two of the most complete team performances of any team this season. The Dragons. Yeah. And, and then the Roosters game. Uh, must have been good to be part of these ones. It, for some of the boys... Oh, and myself, I've never been a part of a win like that. Mm. You know, the, the boys have been on the back end of, of these things where they're the ones getting pumped by 30, they're the ones being pumped by 20. So for a lot of our boys, it was all new and it was a great feeling, yeah. um, especially that this win here against the Roosters. You know, the for, crowd too that night was unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable, crazy. And our fans always are. Um, but for three or four years, the boys have been pumped by this team yeah. every, every time. Um, so get a win. So get, to get that win um, at home again like in front of our fans was huge. Carl, you mentioned your, your skip up, Mitchell Pearce. What's the difference between this year and last year? What's he doing different? Is it something that's playing? Yeah. Because uh, last year we, we missed him for nine weeks, you know, and we only I think as a spine, as me, myself, Mitch, um, and Connor and Danny, um, we only had about three or four games together throughout the whole year. So he's just hungry. He he wants to win. He doesn't want to lose. Um, He's just so hungry at the moment and, yeah, it rubs off on everyone. See, I'm looking forward to Saturday at 3 o'clock. Look, there's no doubt about it. Football, football is better standard football played 
in, in the afternoon. So yeah. the other night, it was lucky enough, in the origin, it was a nice, fast, yeah. dry track. It's different. The ball hits the hand spin and everything. So Melbourne up against uh, t you blokes. Um, how do you beat Melbourne? Um, we got to we got to be tough. We have got to go in with the same mentality we did against the Roosters. Mm. Um, we're not. Yeah, we just got to go out there. We just got to be better than them in everything. Um, obviously, they're, they're a quality side. Um, they're, the difference between their best and worst is very small, and um, our forward pack has to really take it to theirs. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a big game for them.